back to another video. So first of all, I want to apologize for a couple of things. Uh, the first is that I, the previous video was another sketchbook tour. I recorded that thinking that I will have a filled sketchbook by the end of Inktober and thinking that I could show you around half of it really quick. And also because I wanted to complain about my trouble so far and how I was thinking about dropping it. Well, I actually took a break, so I, I ended up dropping it like a, the week after. So I didn't know I will only have four more pieces to show you in this sketchbook tour, but I really wanted to record it because I wanted to th talk through the pieces and tell you a bit more about them. So before we start with the sketchbook tour, um, I want to apologize for the sound quality. I'm still not home, I don't have my microphone. I have this little microphone but adds a bit of noise to the, to the sound, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try to fix it as best as I can. So this sketchbook um, is a handmade sketchbook. I made a couple of videos ago um, where I show you the process. It was really fun to do and I did it with this paper that is, I thought it was kind of watercolor paper, but it's not. It ended up being kind of a cardboard paper, so that's why I had trouble with this uh, Inktober. This is a, a little sticker I have in my red bubble shop, so if you want to take a look at that, I'll have a link down below. And this is a little um, piece from a package from Map Graves. This is a little piece she made into little stamps. Oh, let's start. In the first page I have a few thumbnails I did before Inktober started to test out the paper with uh, inking nibs and to have some thumbnails ready to go. You will see thumbnails um, pro probably on the left page of most of the pages so I, I have the thumbnail ready to go for the piece. Oh, well. This is the first piece. This was the piece where I realized how little water the sketchbook could, could hold and how it sucked all the ink. You can probably see that the lines are not really very crisp. And here the blobs of ink because the paper was kind of breaking through. And this piece ended up quite well. I like it, but it was really a nightmare to do. So I'm not really very fond of it right now. You can see how the paper bled through. Um, the second piece is ghost. I just did kind of a doodle of a ghost. This uh, was quite fast and fun, not really thinking through it too much. For the third day, I have Carrie from Stephen King's book. I thought I would do a bit of fun art from Stephen King because I never do in all of his books. I've read so many. Um, and I saw this prompt that said prom queen and I had to do Carrie, of course. I really like this drawing. By here I had taken a bit of an approach with adding some liquid without messing the page too much, which was nice. And you will see that from here I think the sketches are not really in order, because I didn't do the thumbnails in order. So if you see the posts on my Instagram, you won't have them in the same order there in Sketchbook. For the fourth day, I had the sisters from Kubo, who won the two strings. I really love that movie from Laika. I don't know how you pronounce it, I hope it's Laika. When I saw these two sisters the first time, I thought they were so creepy and so cool, and the masks and all, and I had to draw them. It was a shame that I couldn't color it, because I really wanted to have some shades in the masks, and so I didn't want it to ruin it, so I left it like this. For the fifth day, I did the castle from the Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, the new series from Netflix. I love the castle and I really enjoyed the series, so I thought I would do a little doodle. I don't like this kind of purple river, but if you see the castle, it took me so long to do all those little lines to make that texture, but it was all worth it. Here I have Haku. You see, these posts are not in order. This is not actually day 6, but day 12 or something like that, but well. Um, this is Haku from Spirited Away. I love that movie too, from Miyazaki. He's a master, Studio Ghibli is amazing. And I had to do some sort of rendition, and when I saw the prompt dragon, I had to do this. This prompt was black dog, and I went ahead and tried drawing with a biro pen, or a ballpoint pen. And it was really fun. I love the textures I could achieve with this pen. And 
it's really fun to draw this kind of dog i'm not really used to draw dogs but i like how it looks you can see some sketches here so i can have them properly done then i went ahead and tried a ballpoint pen again this wasn't done on following days and this prompt is frail um so you can see a girl broken i like the hand kind of broken in parts and her torso and so uh, the thing I like less about this sketch, I think, is the hair. I don't dislike it, but I don't think it fits the whole picture. This day I had a time lapse on YouTube recording it. it this one was fun. I did a quick uh, drawing on my Wacom tablet with a symmetry tool and then transferred it and did it here. I think it looks good. This is actually one of my favorite pieces so far. And for day 9 we have Wednesday Adams. Of course, I had to include her. Adams family is just so cool and so Halloweeny that it has to be on every October. Then for this prompt that I believe was day ten, I have a witch. She's floating. I was discarding things like covens and cauldrons and wands, so I thought I will do a witch that's kind of levitating and the smoke and all. I kind of like it. I think it could be improved, but I don't dislike it. There's a little sketch with my notes on how to do and with which tone to add in every piece. And for this day, I redid an old piece that I had of uh, Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. I don't dislike it. I like how my hands and proportions I think have gotten better and the movement of the body too but if you see the line work on the previous one I think it's much much better because I was less afraid of working with the ink and this paper is really hard to work with the ink and I get the perfect lines so I blame that on it. And then here are a few more sketches and thumbnails with notes uh, notes for the next days too and this prompt was ash so I draw this lady here this lady has really smoked a lot during her life and you can see she's buried in a pile of ashes and she's still smoking and the ashes are falling down kind of a critique to smoke and what it does to our body and all of that so don't smoke guys then for this day, I believe it was day 14, the prompt was overgrown and I had this kind of idea of drawing a creepy tree that grew in overnight from a little seed and have this little boy being surprised about it. Um, I don't dislike it, I don't adore it, but I think it turned out pretty okay. For day 15, we have legend and I went for the Lady of the Lake or so called Nimue. I went for a little less known legend and I went for the Lady of the Lake. Um, I don't dislike her but there are certain things. This hand gave me some trouble. I didn't know how to place it. Um, and I'm, I'm not convinced but I think apart from that I really like the dress and this hand. I like it. How it's grabbing the sword and all. For day 16 prompt was Nightmare and I thought about pr portraying the recurrent nightmare we have of falling that um, I've heard that it, it reminds you of your birth because it's kind of a traumatic experience for the brain and or also because it's kind of waking you up because your heart rate is so slow that it needs to give you a scare to kind of jumpstart your heart and get it to normal rate. I don't know if you heard any of these stories and, or if you know the scientific explanation of the dream, but I would love to know more about it. I think it's really interesting. This is not my favorite either, but I don't dislike the pose. Um, I had some trouble to capture it. I had some sort of idea, but I didn't like it until I got this. And for day 17, I did the Weird Sisters. This, I think, is one of my favorites alongside with the dragon uh, and the, the octopus girl. Um, and I was inspired by Sabrina, the series on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's so creepy and cool. And these sisters are the kind of character that you hate and love at the same time. Um, especially Prudence, she's my favorite. But yeah, I like this little doodle and I'm thinking about uh, scanning it and doing some stickers or something with 
the individuals or putting them together because I really like how simple yet uh, recognizable they ended up being. Um, and here's Dark Cloud. This one was done on a day where I was feeling really off. I was already thinking, should I drop this, should I not? A couple of days later I ended up dropping it. But I really liked this drawing because it really reflected how I was going through. I called it a dark cloud because I did this hair in the form of a dark cloud. That's what inspired the drawing. I think it kind of reflected how burnout you can be during October or during this kind of periods where you have a lot, a lot to do and not enough time. And you kind of feel burned out and art blocked. And then I think this is the last piece. It says day 20 because the prompt was from day 20. But it's day 19. I only did 19 out of 31. And this is a little redraw from a couple of years ago uh, where I did a werewolf for Mapgrave's Trolloween. And this one was fun. I like the proportions and I think the drawing is much better. If you want to see the comparisons to this one and the previous one I talked about, I have them on Instagram. I uploaded them side by side. But yeah, I like this one, though the coloring is much better on the previous one because I had a paper that supported markers. I think the coloring is better there, though I like this color palette better. This paper really doesn't uh, stick with the color, so this was supposed to be more red. It just doesn't hold it. <laughs> and yeah, that's the finish. I wrote this kind of bob eye into over here because I wanted to keep it up already. Probably from the 12 or 11 I was already thinking that I should leave it, I don't have the time and I was thinking all of those things but I couldn't do it. So when I finished that piece I left a couple of pages so I don't have the, the blur from this here. But uh, I wrote this so as a sort of closure kind of thing with October and yeah the rest of the pages are empty. I don't think I will use them. If it was another kind of paper I will probably do but this paper I really didn't enjoy working with it so I don't think I will do anything else with this sketchbook except to achieve it. It probably has just 10 pages more, it's not that much. I think I did most of it. And that's my sketchbook tour for this October. So this is the first time in five years I don't finish October. Uh, this is the fifth year, four years I finished it, this one I didn't, but I'm not really letting myself feeling frustrated because I did 19 out of 31 with all the things I have to do, which is honestly almost a record. If you saw my schedule and all the things I have to do, you will probably be amazed. I'm leaving it at that. I hope you enjoyed this little sketchbook tour. Please let me know which ones are your favorite, I would love to know. And this is true that this October for me wasn't really satisfying. Uh, I didn't enjoy as much as pieces as I usually do. But I got a couple out that I really like, so that's fine with me. I would love to know also how you did with this October. How it was for you? Was it hard? Did you drop out? Did you kept doing it? If you did, congratulations. Yeah. I will see you on the next video. Bye!